Hello, primary six. Now we are going to talk about the nervous system. And we said that the nervous system is the system that is responsible for communication and controlling all the body systems and all the things that happens inside my body. Now, the nervous system is made up of a very special type of cell that is called neuron. And this is the shape of the neuron, okay? As you can see here, the cell body, it contains nucleus like every other cell and cytoplasm and there are extensions coming out from the cell body that are called dendrites. Then comes out a very long axon and the axon is covered with a fatty layer that is called myelin sheath. And at the end, the axon has terminals that are called terminal axon, okay? Now the nervous system consists of the central nervous system, which contain the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which contains all other nerves that are coming out from the brain and the spinal cord. So one more time, central nervous system contains the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system contains the nerves that are coming out from the brain and the spinal cord. Okay, so let's talk about the central first. First thing, the brain. The brain consists of three parts. Cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata. Cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata. Now the cerebrum first, it controls the, controls the voluntary movement. Voluntary. What's the meaning of voluntary? Voluntary the, are the things that I do in my purpose. Yani, I want to run. I want to walk. I want to talk to you now, okay? Things that I make it in my purpose, with my purpose, okay? Also, it contains centers of thinking, memory, and sensation. That is the cerebrum. Now, the cerebellum, it controls the body balance. I can move or walk or sit down without uh, falling down, okay? It controls my body balance during movement. Now, the medulla oblongata controls the involuntary. Voluntary was doing things in my purpose. Involuntary means I'm doing things without my purpose. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I, I, or I don't have a hand in doing that, sorry. Yeah. For example, respiration or heartbeat. My heart is beating without me telling the heart, please beat, right? Okay, it's beating on its own. So who controls the involuntary movements? The medulla oblongata, like what? Like heartbeats, respiration, and digestion. Now the spinal cord, the spinal cord, which is the long, thing coming out from the brain, extending inside the back bone, okay? If we cut it, we can see inside it a shape of H, letter H. It's function to deliver, of course, the nerve messages from the brain to all the body parts, okay? And it's also responsible for reflex action. Reflex action is the autonomic response of body to different stimuli. What's the meaning of that? For example, uh, if I am uh, grabbing a flower and this, uh, I picked my hand with, with the thorn of a flower without me seeing it, okay, I will, I will uh, leave the flower instantly, okay, without thinking. This is a reflex action, okay? Now the peripheral nervous system, it is the nerves which are coming out from the central nervous system, which, which is the brain and the spinal cord, Okay, the nerves coming out from the brain are called cranial nerves. And the nerves that are coming out from the spinal cord are called spinal nerves. We have 12 pairs of cranial nerves, while we have 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Now, how can we keep our nervous system healthy? Of course, number one, reducing the intake of stimulating substances like the tea and coffee, 
which has a very high amount of caffeine. It's not good for our body or not good for our nervous system. Uh, first, it affects our sleeping, okay? Also, it affects the heartbeats and it leads to nervous tension. It makes us very nervous, okay? We have to stay away from tranquilizers and stimulants from drugs that we take. We take. Uh, do not sit for a long time in front of a computer or a TV or a mobile, for example, take PUBG, okay? Do not do physical exercises. We have to make exercises to keep our whole body healthy, not, all, not only the nervous system. Give your body enough periods of sleeping. We have to sleep well in the, in the sleeping periods uh, that are from, uh, we have to sleep early and to wake up early, okay? Stay away from pollutants, of course, and stay away from addiction also, okay? Now the human locomotory system, we said the locomotory system is a system that is responsible for movement and locomotory uh, has the skeletal system and the muscular system. And we are focusing only on the skeletal system. Now the skeletal system is made up of the axial, axial here with the blue, it is the skull, the rib cage, and the backbone. Okay, axial skeletal system, skull, rib cage, and backbone. Okay, first we have here the skull, it contains the brain, so it protects the brain. It has cavities for the eyes and for the ears. Then we have the rib cage, it's made up of 12 ribs. 10 of them is connected to the sternum and two are not, okay? Two pairs are not, it uh, protects the what? Can you remember? The rib cage protects the what? The heart and the lungs, right? Okay, what also does it do? It helps in the respiration, inhalation and exhalation process, okay? Now, the backbone. Backbone contains what? The spinal cord, so it protects the spinal cord. Okay, and it consists of how many vertebra? Uh, 33 vertebra. Okay, then the appendicular skeleton, which is in a pink color, the upper limbs and the lower limbs. Here we have the upper limbs are connected with the, the shoulder and the lower limbs are connected with the pelvic bone. Okay, so we have the position at which two bones meet together is called the joint, okay? This is a joint, this is a joint, this is a joint, okay? This is here a joint, here a joint, here a joint. So in a, a, each place, okay, that we have two bones meeting together, it is, this place is called the joint, okay? So what is the function of the joint? The function is to allow the movement, the movement between the bones, okay? We have three types of joints. We have freely movable joint, slightly movable joint, and immovable joint. Freely movable joints means that it can move in all direction, okay? It allows the movement in all direction, like the shoulder, the wrist, the hip. Slightly movable joint, it allows the movement in only one direction, like who? The knee or the elbow, only one direction. Immovable joints mean that it doesn't allow the movement, okay? Like where they, like the bones of my skull. I cannot move the, well, I cannot move the bones that are in my skull. Okay. Thank you, and thank you for your listening to me.